Hello, and welcome to the 19th episode of the CHS Polls. I'm Colin Krauss. And I'm Jimmy Cunningham. For some of us, we will be watching this from the comfort of our own internship. I can't wait to start my senior internship. Me neither, but I'm going to miss the great CHS events like bringing your child to work day. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. My name is Jackson Miller and I'm eight years old. Hello, my name is Audrey and my age is eight. He teaches science. He does lunch duty, which is least favorite job. So all day at work, my dad teaches science, but he also does lunch duty, but he does not like it. Steven and I'm six. My name is Lila and I'm five. And what do you want to be when you grow up? A, t a nice uncle, a nice teacher, and um, they and um, they get free resources. Um, <laughs> I want to be a doctor. Um, can't hear anything. Yada. My favorite part is when I cracked all of the candy out of the pinata. Aha, uh -huh, I know. Touching. Pigs intestines and organs, the whole digestive system, and the heart. My favorite part of the day was making pancakes with Mrs. Schmitter. Some of those kids might have been too honest about their parents. Yeah, I hope they didn't get anyone in trouble. Let's dive into the depths of the L-Wing where the CHS Pulse is created. Hi, I'm Jesse Lurz, and I'm a senior, and I'm in TV production. I'm Jimmy Cunningham, I'm a senior, and I take TV production. I'm Peter Hoffler, I'm a junior, and I'm in TV production. I'm Julia, and I'm a student in TV production. My name is Mr. Henderson, I teach video production, TV production, and work. I'm Tommy Guy, uh, and I took video production, TV production, and short films. I decided to take TV production because I took video production. Naturally, you know, the next step is TV production. Um, and I think this is definitely more fun. So if you liked video production, you'll definitely like TV production. In this class, we get to come up with our own segments. So it's really great that you kind of have that creative opportunity. It's such a relaxing class, and we all get along really well. And I would absolutely take it again if I could. <laughs> In the Pulse, you get to do many uh, activities, including using drones, using GoPros with mad cool stabilizers. So basically what we do in TV production is we have three weeks to kind of brainstorm um, ideas for segments. Um, from there, students will send emails, write interview questions, film and conduct those interviews, collect all of that footage, cut it up into about a three to four minute piece. Um, and once all of that is done, we go over to our broadcast set we actually record the show live and in one continuous recording uh, with a live video switcher, anchors, a graphics operator, a soundboard operator. Um, each student has a different job for each episode that they're expected to perform. My favorite memory of TV production was either making the Christmas special when I was Santa 
or um, the senioritis video. Um, both of those were probably my two favorite videos. I'd say my favorite memory was getting uh, chased by the drone outside as if we were part of a zombie apocalypse. I don't know if I can choose my favorite memory, but one of the segments that I had a lot of fun working on was the early childhood one because I got to go into the class and I got to talk to It seems like we spend a lot more time outside of class than in it. I think that's an accurate representation of our class. I think Brian and I show an accurate representation of Netflix hidden gems in this next segment. I agree. Let's see if we've seen any of these gems. Black Mirror was like a very interesting sci-fi esque show and I'm really into those. They're kind of really interesting to watch. And it's basically about I would say the Twilight Zone but with technology and how it affects us. Much like you're doing right now. Welcome to a future where our true re reflection is only revealed once the screen goes dark. Welcome to the darkness. I'm a big hockey fan. Um, growing up, I watched a lot of hockey, and there aren't many hockey movies, so when I first uh, saw The Mighty Ducks, it kind of, I just kind of watched it over and over again. Sorry. And nothing can stop them oh, no. from pursuing their dream. The Mighty Ducks. So my Netflix hidden gem is The People vs. O.J. Simpson. Um, I think it's without a doubt a gem. Some people may argue whether or not it, it's a hidden gem. It did get some, some buzz around Emmy time, uh, but not enough people I know have seen it. It's a great show. It's not too much of a commitment. I think it's eight episodes at most, uh, so definitely worth your time. The Bronco's gone. My name is Earl. It's about uh, basically this dirt bag that uh, wins the lottery. He goes out to um, make amends with people in his life that he has wronged. It's the critically acclaimed comedy that breaks all the rules. My name is Earl. The 13th is about how our prison system treats uh, prisoners like slaves. Khalif Browder was walking home from a party when he was stopped by police. Then they said, we're going to take you to the precinct, and most likely we're going to let you go home, and then I never went home. We are the products of the history that our ancestors chose. Products of that set of choices. We should go lucky Gotham is a really good show if you're into um, fantasy almost. Uh, it's set in Gotham City where Batman was created and it shows the, um, the life a detective has tried to take down the um, original Gotham villains. Simple answer. They all got their start in this city and it's up to us to stop them. Uh, the League is basically a comedy uh, TV series about um, a group of guys and one girl's um, fantasy football league. You my trust and you stab me in the back. If I find out that you were lying. Never, ever. I am watching you. You're all going down. Lies, lies. Waterboy is a great flick if you're bored and want to be entertained. Uh, it's one of Sandler's better movies. If you're looking to be entertained and want to take up an hour and a half of your time. Season, they pushed him too far. Stop making fun of me. Adam Sandler. There's something wrong with his medulla oblongata. You playing the foosball behind my back. The water boy. I think Making a Murderer is a very intriguing show, and it's only uh, eight or nine episodes. We didn't 
dress like everybody else. They didn't have education like other people. It represents both sides of the story equally, and you get the, to make the final decision. There was no real investigation done by the Sheriff's Department. Stephen Avery spent 18 years in prison for something he didn't do. Are you kidding me? The truth always comes out. These are some great Netflix hidden gems, and you should totally check them out. I agree. I think I'm going to have to go on a Netflix binge when I go home. Yeah, those were definitely worthy of my time. You know what else would be worthy of our time? If someone accepted my promposal. Let's see how some of the cool promposals our fellow classmates came up with.